Hello, class. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right, good. Thank you. Jenny, you are in the bus. Yes, teacher. Okay, I see. Good, good, good. Let me see. I see more people joining. Give me one second, please. Let's see more people come in. Okay, so how are you, class? How was your day today? Good? Good teacher. Good teacher. Very good, teacher. All right, nice. My day, you look different. Hello. Hi, my day. My day, Hi. you were in class yesterday, correct? No. Oh, you weren't? Okay, no. No. Okay, I confused you. So let's wait one more. Hey, hello, Isaac, how are you? Hello, I am fine. Hi. What happened? What happened? I what? You said something happened? No. No. Okay, everything good. Okay, let's start. Okay, let me see. Let me open the page. Do you see my screen? Yes, okay, good. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is section one. Okay, listen, in this conversation, well, in this lesson, the objective is in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about where city adverbs were about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. Dice en español, en esta clase escucharán una conversación sobre una ciudad en donde se ocupan adverbios antes de adjetivos. Antes de empezar, ¿saben la diferencia de adverbio y adjetivo? Do you know the difference? No. No, okay. Yancy, Karen, and Margarita, are you there? Yes, teacher. All right, thank you, Yancy. Karen and Margarita, are you there? Eh, teacher, eh, tengo un poquito lento el internet y está así como que medio trabándose, entonces eh, no le comprendí muy bien. Ok, no se lo quería hacer si estaba. <risa> ok, you're there, thank you. Margarita, are you there? Okay, maybe not. 
There's Maritza. You see, that's why I told you yesterday, it's very important to have your camera. Okay, um, do you know the difference between an adverb and an adjective? Adjectives describe nouns, right? Yes, can and, you give me an example? And adverbs describe verbs, I think. Yes. Example for adjective, the good doctor, for example. Good is an adjective. And what is the what is the adverb of good? I don't know. <laughs> ah, okay, look. Let me give you a perfect example, okay? Listen, class. Adjectives and adverbs. Areli is correct. The adjective describes a person, a place, or a thing. Isaac, San Miguel is? Hot. Hot. Well, all right, hot. So what is the adjective there? Hot, because hot is describing San Miguel, correct? And San Miguel is a place. Um, my day. Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, yes, 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 yes. Donald Trump is? What? Donald Trump is? Rich, crazy, ex-president, American, any adjective? Yes? Yes. Okay, good. So uh, let me see. Um, ¿Cómo se llama Superman, mujeres? Jaime, Jaime, Camil, 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 something? No sé. Oh, my God. Creo que es el primer grupo de mujeres que no conocen a este hombre. A Superman. Yes. Clark Kent en la película. Henry Cavill, Cavill. Thank you. Henry Cavill, yes. Okay. So my deck, Henry Cavill is? Is, uh, is handsome. Old. <laughs> After? Old. Ya se hizo old. He's old, he's handsome, he's ugly. Okay, but all those are adjectives. They describe, like uh, they describe a person. Hot describes San Miguel. San Miguel is not a person. San Miguel is a place. So an adjective describes a person, a place, an object. iPhones are expensive. Yes? Yes. OK, so we understand what is an adjective, correct? Yes, Thank you. Anayansi, what is an adjective? Yancy Jimenez, what is an adjective? Uh, they use for describe a place, a person, an object. Very good. Very good. Now, next is an adverb. Please don't confuse adjective with adverbs. They are similar, but they are different. An adverb describes the verb, not the person. For example, the turtle is slow. Get here. La tortuga, lenta. La tortuga lenta. The turtle is slow. Now, slow is describing what? The turtle, correct? Yes. Now listen to this. The turtle walks slowly. What is slowly describing? 
using an adverb. Yes, so slowly is describing what? Walking. The verb. It's describing the verb, walk slowly. It's not describing the turtle. It's describing what the turtle is doing. Y generalmente, que creo que en español los adverbios todos terminan en entamente. Uh, en inglés casi todos terminan en li. Slow, slowly. Fast, fastly. Okay, so let's see the video. Let's see the video. Conversation. It's a fairly big city. This new section. We are about to watch and listen to a conversation yes, about a city okay, good. Yes. where adverbs before adjectives are used. As soon as you listen to it, I want you to play it again and practice the conversation with a friend or a relative. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. One more time, let's listen to this. Hi, welcome to this new section. We are about to watch and listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. As soon as you listen to it, I want you to play it again and practice the conversation with a friend or a relative. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Y lo siento porque, irónicamente, no había muchos adverbios ahí. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's see the next video. In this class, participants will learn the, the usage of adverbs be, before adjectives. In esta clase, los participantes aprenderán el uso de los adverbios antes del adjetivo. Vamos a ver. Hi, in this video, we will teach you how to use adverbs before adjectives. Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. Let's pay attention and don't go as we'll explain the usage as soon as we listen to the audio program. Adverbs before adjectives. San Juan is really nice. It's a really nice city. It's fairly big. It's a fairly big city. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. It's too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Let us start. An adverb can modify an adjective, giving more emphasis to it. Let's work with the adverb very and put it in a sentence. Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Remember, very is the adverb and expensive is the adjective. So if you want to make a strong statement, you may add an adverb. It is not the same to say her car is expensive than to say her car is very expensive. Now let's talk about this chart. Notice they are organized from the most to the least. We also have the adverb too, which means more than you want, so we usually use it with a negative adjective. 
Read the following sentence. This dress is too big for me, meaning the dress won't fit me. Now that you have listened to the explanation and the audio program, I want you to make sentences using the adverbs presented in the small chart. Please write them on our discussion box. Write one sentence for each adverb. Remember to use the following structure. X plus is plus adverb plus adjective. Good luck. Okay, let's see this. Knowledge check. Instructions. In this exercise, you are given some questions. In order to answer them, you need to choose the correct response. So, what is soul like? Is it an interesting place? Catherine, can you do number one, please? Okay, teacher. Um, so it says, what is soul like? Is it an interesting place? Yes. Yes. Um, what is the correct answer? Yes, okay. I have. No, it's an interesting place. Oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. Excuse me, what? Uh, Who's speaking? Yes, I have it. I'm sorry. Catherine. I'm sorry. Catherine. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's speaking? Yeah, sorry. So listen, okay. remember the conversation, right? It says, what is soul like? Is it an interesting place? What was the answer? Okay. What's soul like? Let me see. Let's listen to the video again. Listen. Hi. In this video, we will teach you how to use adverbs before adjectives. Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. I'm sorry, I asked you. Hi, welcome to this new section. We are about to watch and listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. As soon as you listen to it, I want you to play it again and practice the conversation with a friend or a relative. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Y no habla de sol, ¿verdad? Y aquí. Not too sure. It's fairly big for me. Let's... Huh. Okay, so let's improvise. Si alguien le pregunta, what is soul like? You know what is soul, right? Do you know what is soul, Catherine? Mm. Okay, no sé si me, no me escuchan o, o no sé. Bien, teacher. Okay, thank you. What is soul? Seoul, in Korea. Okay, good. Seoul is in Korea. Okay. Thank you. So, what is soul like? Is it an interesting place? Do you understand that, Catherine? Yes. Okay, so imagine, hey, what is Seoul like? Is it an interesting place? What do you think the answer is? Okay.
Um, yes, I have. It's an extremely lurk and crowded Large. place. Mm -hmm. But I love it. It has excellent restaurants. But listen, the question is not asking about you. It's asking about soul. And your answer is, yes, I have. No. So it's not correct, Catherine. Catherine, what is San Salvador like? Is it an interesting place? What is Mexico like? Is it an interesting place? What is La Campanera like? Is it an interesting place? Teacher. Yes. Is the number three? Yes, it's number I three. Mm -hmm. Yes, I had some amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Uh -huh. What is so like? Is it an okay, um, Catherine? ¿Qué dicen las preguntas? ¿Te gusta Seúl? No, no dice eso. Mm. <coughs> no dice eso. ¿Qué te gusta de Seúl? No, tampoco. ¿Ve? ¿Cómo es el... ¿Cómo? Tengo que adivinar que ustedes no entendieron. Solo dígame. Teacher, I don't understand. Esta pregunta, yo entiendo por qué dicen gustar, porque dice like. Pero realmente... ¿Cómo te es? pareció? ¿Cómo dice, es? ¿Cómo es so? ¿Cómo es so? ¿Es un lugar interesante? Entonces, Catherine, entendí por, entendí por qué usted me dijo, yes, I have. Creo que usted, creo que usted entendió, ¿te gusta so? ¿Es un lugar interesante? Uh, yes. Yes, okay. No, no. Uh, what is so like is, miren, eh, bueno, muy buena pregunta. Cuando uno termina like al final, es como decir, Catherine, what is your husband like? ¿Qué le pregunté, Catherine? No entendí. <laughs> Good. ¿Cómo es su esposo? ¿Cómo es su esposo? Ah, ok. Where do you live, Catherine? Ok, no sé si me puede escuchar, Catherine, o no. Let me see. Jacqueline Méndez, are you there? Jacqueline, where do you live? In San Salvador. Ok, where in San Salvador? Um, Colonia de Escocés de Mayo. Colonia 6 de Mayo, correct? Sí. Tell me, what is Colonia 6 de Mayo like? Um, ¿Qué le pregunté? ¿Qué me gusta de mi colonia? No, no, ya regreso con usted. Ok, uh, Isaac. Isaac, ¿es el Isaac? Ok, ok. Isaac, what is, what is San Miguel like? ¿Qué le pregunté, ¿Qué le pregunté Isaac? ¿Cómo es ¿Cómo San Miguel? Es? There you go. Ok, good. Ok, vuelvo y repito. Cuando alguien hace una pregunta y like está al final, yo sé que no pueden evitar pensarlo en español, pero no estoy preguntando si le gusta San Miguel. Eh, Jacqueline, no le estoy preguntando si le gusta la colonia 6 de mayo. Y Catherine no le estaba preguntando si le gusta su esposo. Le estoy preguntando cómo es su esposo, cómo es la colonia 6 de mayo y cómo es San Miguel. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. So, what is San Miguel like? Eso pregunta alguien que no conoce de algo o de algún lugar y preguntan, oh, you're from San Miguel, yes. What is San Miguel like? It's hot, it's small, it's very mm -hmm. extremely hot. <laughs> what is La Colonia 6 de Mayo like, Jacqueline? It's being... Um, the people is very friendly. All right, good. 
So it's like a happy neighborhood. Yes. Good. Catherine, what is your husband like? Um, he's short. He is short? Uh, he is um, trabajador. ¿Cómo sería? He's a hard worker. Hard working. Hard worker. Hard working. Worker. Worker. Very good. Okay. So, entonces aquí preguntan, what is Seoul like? Is it an interesting place? Imagínense alguien dice, hey, yo soy del distrito Italia. ¿Verdad que sé que quedan a popa? Que dicen que es bien peligroso. En las flores, Tonaca. Okay, imagine alguien dice, hey, I am from las, the flor, las flores. And I ask you, oh, you are from Las Flores, really? What is Las Flores like? Is it dangerous? You say, when see yes, no, no, it's not dangerous. Okay. So, entonces, what is soul like? Is it an interesting place? ¿Qué dice allí, Catherine? Como es Seoul. Ajá. Y la segunda pregunta. Catherine, si ve aquí hay dos preguntas. ¿Cómo es Seoul? Y aquí está la otra. Ah, ok. ¿Qué dice la segunda? Es interesante. ¿Es un lugar interesante? Is it, ok, very good. ¿Cómo es Seoul? Es un lugar interesante. So, what is Seoul like? Is it an interesting place? Yes. See, sí. it has amazing shopping. Excuse me. <laughs> and the people are pretty friendly. Okay, let's do number two. Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? What is hometown? Margarita? Repeat, please. Yeah. Uh, es, está en la, you see, no tiene cámara Karen y Margarita, ¿no? Yes, I have. Okay. Oh, wait. Margarita, ¿se estuvo en la clase ayer? No, no. It's okay. Hoy es el primer día. Okay, I'm sorry. Eh, les voy a repetir rapidito. Los que son el primer día hoy... Por favor, eh, de parte de Insafork les, piden, les pedimos que por favor tengan sus cámaras encendidas o algo, okay. porque es la forma que ellos toman asistencia. Porque ya se han dado casos de que gente solo enciende. Solo se ve la foto y no participa. Oh, you know, saber si lo ponen de fondo o algo. Ok, so thank you. So listen, number two, do you like your hometown? What is hometown, Margarita? Ciudad o pueblo, creo. Mm, okay, pero ma, algo más, algo más. Hometown. Ciudad natal. Yes, su ciudad natal. Your hometown. Maybe, maybe, maybe I was born in Cantón Pepeto. Maybe. And I live in San Salvador. Entonces yo puedo decir, my home is in San Salvador, pero my hometown is El Pepeto. My hometown is Quelepa. My hometown is San Miguel City. Okay. So. It says, do you like your home? Where do you live? Where do you live, Margarita? Um, San Miguel. Oh, you live in San Miguel? Yes. Do you like it? Yes, I like it. A what little is... hot, but I like it. <laughs> so, do you know Isaac? What? Do you know Isaac? No. 
Isaac y quién más es de Samuel? Catherine, no, no. Um, Loida. Loida. Oh, Isaac es from San Miguel too. Look, Margarita. Okay. Okay, so tell me. Uh, entonces, we understand hometown. Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? What do you think is the, is the answer? Eh, creo que me pregunta si qué me gusta y qué no. Creo. Si alguien, de acuerdo a una conversación, alguien hace esta pregunta, ¿cuál cree que es la respuesta correcta? Eh, the number four. Number four, yes. Do you like your hometown? Not really. No. Nope. Why or why not? It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. Number three, what is Sydney like? I've never been there. Class, in general, I can, what is Sydney like? I've never been there. Okay. Uh, the, uh, ¿Cómo es Sydney? Um, yo nunca he ido allí. Uh -huh. So, ¿Cuál cree que sería la, la respuesta más adecuada? The num, uh, number two. The first. The maybe, first. yeah, maybe this one, number one. Okay. Oh, really? Nunca he ido. Oh, really? It's beautiful and clean. It has great harbor and beautiful beaches. Have you ever been to Sao Paulo? What do you think the correct answer is? Two, number two. Yes. Okay, they're all correct, number two. Okay. Uh, let's do this. En esta clase conocerán la identificarán y usarán conjunción tales como y, pero, aunque y sin embargo. Hi, nice. Let's see. So see you again. This time we'll talk about conjunctions. We'll talk about and, but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice. So please stay with us. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city, and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city's ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction BUT. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one and it goes in the middle of a sentence, and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one 
but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in a discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. Okay, did you understand that explanation? Yes, teacher. So let's go here, let me see. And small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction and. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction but. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one. Okay, so let's do and. And it's very simple, right? You talk about something and something extra. Um, San Miguel City, no department, San Miguel City is small and hot. Correct? Isaac? Yes, teacher. It's correct. All right. Adeli, where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Where do you work? In school. Oh, yes, you're, you're a teacher, right? Yeah, I'm a teacher. So tell me, what is it like to be a teacher? It's like to work <sighs> for hurricanes all the time. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have allergies. Okay, so is... Is demandante, is demanding? Yes, because each child is different. Yes. So is demanding and difficult. Yes. But you see, is demanding and difficult. Is demanding and difficult. Yes. So two things using and. Uh, what about you, my dear? Yes. Where do you live? I live in Usulutan. My home, uh, my hometown, Hukuapa City. Hometown is Hukuapa. Okay, and where do you work? In Caja de Credito de San Alejo, partner Isaac. I, oh. Uh -huh. No, but Isaac is not your partner. He's your co-worker. Okay, or co-worker. <laughs> Saben que es partner. Ok, ajá, pero partner uh -huh. es pareja. Ah, no. No, 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 pero no, no. Sorry, no. Isaac. No, 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 wait, wait. No, pero no solo en lo sentimental. Eh, puede ser en, en, en un equipo de basketball. Uh. Pero partner son two people. Como cuando van a hacer la tarea, ok, you know, ok, get your partner. So you only get one person. It's two people only. Ah, okay. All right. So tell me about uh, Usilutan. It is hot. And ugly. <laughs> it's hot <laughs> and ugly. Yes. Why? Why is it ugly? Uh, el departamento. La cabecera. No. I remember Usulután is a little boring, ¿no? Boring. Un poco aburrido. No, no hay muchos lugares donde ir, right? Mm -hmm. O sea, nocturnamente hablando. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, All right. Okay, good. Okay. So let me see. Ana López. Hello. Hi, tell me about the, the situation right now with Mareros. Do you think it's good? <laughs> Do you think it's good and necessary or bad and 
Not necessary. <laughs> I don't understand, teacher. Okay, in El Salvador, there's a big situation with Mareros right now, correct? Ah. Uh, do you think I, it's... What, what I do prefer you th don't speak uh, de ese tema. Okay, es que la, el problema es que cualquier tema que les doy se me quedan callados. Entonces, no, it's okay. You don't have to. So, puedes decir, I think it's good and bad, or I think it's good and bad, or whatever. Pero, you don't, no es por meterme en política, sino que es para tocar un tema. Porque, ya, si se han dado cuenta, yo he hablado 80% de la clase. Tengo 10 personas viéndome, ¿sí? Y esas 10 personas, solo tengo 3 o 4 hablándome. Entonces estoy cambiando de cassette. Entonces digo, voy a hablar de temas actuales. Quizás así podamos hablar. But it's okay. It's okay, Ana López. No, no problem. Ana Yancy, where do you live? Jenny, you had a... Um, Yancy, where do you live? Ana Yancy o Yancy Jiménez. Yancy Jiménez. Okay. I live in Sayapango. Okay, and where do you work? In Almacene Vidri. In Sayapango. Yes, Boulevard del Ejército. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, cool. So, um, ¿le puedo preguntar si, si Sayapango es peligroso como lo faman? Yes. Okay, so I let mean, me ask you. Okay, let me ask you. So, because really, I don't live in Soyapango. I either, but I, you, you know, people say, I think, and personally, I think the complete El Salvador is dangerous. But <laughs> okay, so, um, but you know, you know, yeah, Popa, everywhere, <laughs> even San yeah. Salvador. So, oh, you are from Soyapango. Is Soyapango dangerous, Ana Yancy? Uh, Yancy? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, there is the sun. Uh, are very dangerous. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, but, but not the complete Soyapango, correct? Yes. Just some parts. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. So we understand when we see and. So, um, and is only to add something extra. Por ejemplo, like, uh, Isa, uh, Maide dijo una cosa, dijo, uh, <laughs> ella dijo, uh, Usulutan, Usulutan is hot and ugly. Uh. Okay, you know, but good. O sea, she gave two descriptions using and. Okay, yes. now using but. Uh. So listen, it says, connects a positive idea with a negative idea. Of Soyapango. No, not necessarily so. No, I will in the class in general. Okay. But, but is to connect something positive and something negative. Mm -hmm. Examples, pupusas are delicious, but. But is no, not nutrient. Very yes, it's not healthy. It's not healthy. Okay. Yes. Ah, uh, pupusas are delicious. That's positive. But ah, uh, viene lo negative. They are not healthy. No son saludables. Okay, do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, let me see, let me see, let me see. Isaac Munhia. Hey. Messi is the best soccer player, but... Is very small. Okay, good. Yeah, Messi is the best soccer player, but he is very small. But in this moment, he is lost. He's lost. Está perdido. <laughs> so remember, so it's to connect one, one positive and one negative. 
Como digo, un perfecto ejemplo podría ser eh, lo que está pasando ahorita. Hey, eso la marea, eh, de las maras es good, but es bueno, pero muy cruel. O pueden ser al revés, es muy cruel, pero muy bueno. O es muy bueno, it's, pero... You it's, know good, what? it's good and mm. necessary, but dangerous. It's dangerous. Okay, very good. Hey, usted, very good, Jancy. <laughs> Mezcló las dos cosas. Yes. <laughs> Jancy said it's good and necessary, <laughs> but it's dangerous. dangerous. Okay, okay. Um... What do you think about, let me see, Ana Lopez, do you like tequila? No, I don't like. Okay, do you like? I like, I, I like water. Okay, good. You don't like liquor? No. <laughs> okay, okay, good. But es que lo que digo que tequila, mucha gente creo que estaría con eso. Oh, it's good. But, <laughs> but the next day, the next day is like, oh, it's terrible. Okay, good. So let me see. Um, Maritza, hi. 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 Do you like Mr. Donut? Uh, no, I don't like. Okay. What about um, San, San Martin restaurant? Do you like it? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> okay. What about you, class? Have you ever eaten in a San Martin restaurant? Yes. No. Oh. no teacher. I think it's good, but it's ridiculous expensive. Yes, it's expensive. Very expensive. It's very expensive, yes. Y más siendo salvadoreños, yo no entiendo cómo gente puede ir a comer un desayuno típico. It's yes. like, really, man? Really? No pueden comer eso en su casa. <laughs> y, y vale como nueve dólares a huevos, frijoles y un pan. It's like... Y poquito. <laughs> yes. Me quedo con hambre. <laughs> no, you know, I prefer, I prefer a different breakfast. I prefer, I don't know, something different because eggs and beans I have in my house. I prefer, I don't know, give me a croissant sandwich or, or something. Por eso me gusta Denny's. Yes. Because puedo pedir bistec de desayuno. <laughs> or pancakes, yes. Pero no, pedirme dos huevos revueltos con frijoles fritos, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember, um, Margarita, are you there? Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, Margarita and Isaac. Yo conozco muy bien San Miguel porque viví como dos o tres años. Hace años. But I remember in San Miguel, comedores. You know, the comedores. In the morning, like at six, seven in the morning, they have chicken. <laughs> y hay pollo asado, carnes, bistec, and then, yeah, I... <laughs> Is is a, is a tradition in San Miguel or no? Yes, yes, yes. It is. Come on. Yes, because I remember every morning, because I rented a house. I was working in San Miguel, so every morning I ate in a comedor. Se dice diner. Como dinner, pero con una n. Diner. So I went to many different diners, like at six or seven in the morning. You know, I was thinking, oh, huevos a la ranchera or something. And you go and, man, you see chiles rellenos, bistec, pollo asado. And you go, wow. <laughs> it was good. I, I remember that about San Miguel. Okay, so, so one more time. Like, for example, como les digo, I lived in San Miguel. San Miguel is beautiful, but. It's, it's very hot. It's, no, it's not very hot. It's too hot. Okay, it's, okay. Too no, hot. no, no, I'm joking. See, very, it's very hot. It's extremely hot, but it's very beautiful. 
All right. And I love Aguila. I am an Aguila fan. <laughs> Hoy oí un meme que me dio risa, decía, con tantos arrestos que está haciendo el gobierno, Alianza se va a quedar sin barra. <laughs> yeah, but that was good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alianza fans. But it's true. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay. Uh, Isaac. Le voy a preguntar a usted porque es el único, el otro, único hombre en la clase a pasar. Usted y yo somos únicos hombres. Nunca tuvo un famoso encuentro cuando le andaba cayendo una chera. Y él le dice, yes, Isaac, I like you. You're a beautiful person. Y uno se queda, yes, yes. But... Oh, Ahí viene el pero. Pero te quiero como hermano. Oh. Remember? Oh, yeah. Isaac. Oh, Isaac, you're, the, you're a very good man. You're a very beautiful person. I love you very much. You know, ah, uh -huh. y entonces. But like a brother. Like a friend. Like a oh, peor, like a friend. Oh, man. You know, you say, oh, no, I viene el but. All right, I viene el but, I viene el pero. All right. Yancy, tell me something good about coffee. Um. The coffee is, is delicious, but it, it's not health, healthy. Okay, good, yes. Do you like, who likes rock music? Yes, I like rock music. <laughs> okay, do you like Coldplay? Yes. <laughs> okay, yes. I, I saw Eva. Coldplay is good, but it's not rock. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alternative? No, no, they are, no. It's pop. Oh, well, I like Coldplay, but I like the first two albums. They were good. Mm. They were, they were like, they were rock, but now they are pop. They're like a boy band, no, sir? Yes. But they're good, but they are not rock. Yes. Uh -huh. But they're mm -hmm. good. <laughs> no, but me encantan sus primeros discos. Oh man, they're good. Yes. <clears throat> All right, so do you understand now when you say but? Yes. Ya vieron, yes. ya vieron el Batman nuevo, no sé si alguien vio la película. Yes. Yeah. Oh, give me your opinion. It's good, but oh, okay. Mm, more or less. Oh, it's good. Very interesting. He's very long. <laughs> For me, it's, it's very good. interesting, but I don't like the history. I think okay. it's very romantic. It's not action. Okay, it's more drama than action. Okay. Yes. But what about the Batman? Is he good? Is he a good Batman? Yeah, teacher. It's more real. Oh, okay. Like for for example, for me, the best Joker. Oh man, I study physics on Joaquin Phoenix, but the best Joker is Jack Nicholson. For example, Heath Ledger. It was an excellent Joker, but the he was not a Joker. 
él tuvo que haber sido mejor como en, en inglés se llama el Riddler, el acertijo. Remember el acertijo? Do you know el acertijo? Car, no saben qué difícil son las ver caras sin moverse así. No sé si me están oyendo o no. That's not good, man. In, in English class, you have to participate. Okay, so let's do let's do another thing. Um, what do you think about? It's okay. What do you think about, Maritza? What do you think about the war in? No, let's not talk about war. What do you think about gasoline in this moment in San Salvador, in El Salvador? Um, it is very expensive, expensive, uh, but it's necessary. Good. What is the positive there? Uh, excuse me. Very good. It's very expensive, but it's necessary. Me gustó. Usted le dio dos vueltas. Ahí le dio vuelta. Empezó negativo y terminó positivo. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's no problem. No hay orden de. Okay. Uh -huh. Because you can say, ah, gasoline is necessary, but it's very expensive. Okay. But in this case, you said, okay, gasoline is very expensive but it's necessary. And that's a perfect answer is, yes, it's true. Gasoline is um, expensive, but necessary. Mm -hmm. Women, women, do you really, really need shoes? Always. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. No, but, but do you really, really need 20, 30 pairs of shoes? Yes. <laughs> Why? Um, Uno para cada. I Para combinar, <laughs> no sé cómo decirle. Yes. Yo no creo que es para combinar, sino que es por la, eh, la, la ocasión. Like, hey, there's a party Saturday. Men, we think, yeah. Women, oh my God, I don't have shoes. Yes, you have shoes. <laughs> no, I don't have shoes. I don't have clothes. I need to buy shoes and clothes. Oh, <laughs> No, you know, I tell my wife, I tell my wife, look, yes, those are beautiful shoes, but not necessary. Yes. <laughs> Oye, mi pobre hijo lo está llenando de zapatos. Come on. He only needs three pairs of shoes. That's it. <laughs> no, but that's okay. No, but it's, it's un ejemplo. Estaba bromeando, pero un ejemplo es que es como decir, sí, los zapatos son bonitos. Pero no tantos. Yes, shoes are beautiful, shoes are nice, but not so many pairs. Porque no ha visto los míos. Really? <laughs> how many how, how many shoes do you have? How many pairs? Um son como más de 50. Oh my God. No. Oh my God. <laughs> and you, Ana Lopez, how many pair of shoes do you have? I have 12 pairs of pies. Wow. <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> it's good. Okay. Um, so uh, what is another thing that you say is good? Like, like, the pupusas are so delicious, but not healthy. Yeah. Semita is good, but not healthy. Yeah. Because of sugar and, and sweet and bang. Everything good is good, but bad. Mm. <laughs> It's delicious. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ya probaron algo que uno dice, y bueno, quiero probar eso, quiero ver cuánto, qué es tanta el afán. Y uno dice, estaba bueno, pero no era la gran cosa. You say, it was good, but... Las stop. torrejas. 
Okay, las orejas, they're good, but not a big deal. Miren, verá que las orejas prácticamente son tostadas francesas. Sí, creo que sí. Yo he llegado a esa conclusión, lo único que le echamos miel. But that's it. Las tostadas francesas son más fritas. Yeah. La preparación es diferente. Oh, really? Oh. Wow, well, well, yeah. Es que las tostadas francesas son con pan de caja y las torrejas son con torta de yema. Oh, ah, yeah. ya. Pero la, realmente las tostadas francesas originales eran como un pan, eran de pan, no necesariamente de pan de caja. Porque en Estado, bueno, en Europa comen el pan como cuando el el baguette. Qué lindo. Yes. De comida. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Es, es. Que es algo bastante bueno, pero es bien caro de comer. Demasiada caloría, ¿no? Oh, no. Y han ido a Faisca de Brasil. No teacher. no, teacher. Oh, man, it's very, very good, but extremely expensive. Maybe $100 per person. Yeah. Very expensive. Ya no quiero ir, ¿cómo se dice? I don't want to go. <laughs> no, pero es una experiencia como nunca. Eh, es... Ustedes se sientan en la mesa y le dan un círculo. Y el círculo creo que es rojo y blanco. La cosa es que dicen que así lo hacen en Brasil. Entonces, si usted lo pone en rojo, le está diciendo al mesero, sírvame. Entonces, primero pasan con carnes blancas. De todo hacia alrededor, después con carnes rojas. Pero no, no paran de... de Y entonces, si usted le da vuelta al círculo, el mesero no se le acerca. O sea, el mesero nunca le va a decir, ¿quiere más? <risa> no, si usted le da vuelta. Uh -huh. y, y ellos van, han visto donde ponen los tacos, una gran, un gran pincho. Yes. Yes. Y, van, y van caminando y se lo ponen así en la mesa. <risa> y se lo van cortando y usted lo agarra con pinzas. O sea, la experiencia es... Las carnes rojas es todo tipo de carne que se puede imaginar. It's so good. It's very, very good. Uh -huh. but, but, but the trick is drink water. Okay. Only water. Porque antes le dan como aperitivos, como mira, no, no quiere sushi, no quiere sopa. Entonces le están dando para que alguien se llene. Y ya cuando entran los, los platos principales, ya casi no come uno. Ah, a la segunda vez que fui me quedé, no, no, no voy a comer nada, voy a esperar la carne. <laughs> yes, and drink water. No, pero vale como like 60, 50 or 60 dollars per person. But the soda is five dollars or, or it's, it's very expensive. But it's good. <laughs> So I recommend you, if you are married, maybe for your anniversary. If you, are mar if you are married, I recommend, like, you know, you want to go to a very good, beautiful place. Faisca de Brasil is, is a good option. The aniversario, an anniversary. Or reconciliación. <laughs> O cuando le anden cayendo una chica o un chico. ¿Sí? Yo a mi esposa le llevaba a buenos restaurantes. Ya casados. Comamos algo. Permitime. Don Pollo. En la casa de frijoles le Don Pollo o Little Caesars. Quiero sorbete. No se diga más. Voy a la nevería. No, I'm joking. Ok, um, well, thank you, class. Uh, tomorrow we're going to practice more, okay? Okay, teacher. Yes. Um, recuerden, una cosa les digo. Um, el ser humano, de hecho, le gusta hablar de dos cosas. 
de cosas que uno sabe o cosas que uno le gustan. Entonces, por ejemplo, hoy sí la, la, la pregunta era bien rara. Mm, ¿Cómo es Sydney? Nunca he ido ahí. No conocemos a Sydney. Realmente no sabemos si nos importa o no. ¿Ya? Yes. Pero si viene alguien y preguntamos, hey, ¿y cómo es? I don't know. El sabor o irao. Yo tengo una gran curiosidad de ir ahí, de hecho. No he ido en, desde que era chiquito. Digo, do you know sabor o irao? What is sabor o irao like? Y como uno que ha ido, ya sabe, me va a empezar. Oh, it's beautiful, the garden, y no sé qué. And, Uh, for children, it's, it's a perfect place. Yes. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow, class. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Teacher. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I need um, add me to WhatsApp. Escríbale a la inglés corporativo que la que la agreguen al al porque no soy el el el. El administrador. Okay. ¿Tendremos clase mañana? Yes, yes, we have class tomorrow. Jenny, Jenny and then Moto. Yes, teacher. I'm sorry, but not participate in the class. But it's the moment I I arrive in my house. Why? Okay, but are you are you driving? No, 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 my, my husband. Okay, good. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was preocupado. Like, are you driving and listening to? Okay, good. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Bye yeah. bye. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good evening, everyone.